Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hey guys, hi, and welcome back to a new episode. Yeah. Um, so today we're going to talk about love languages. Oh my god. But before, how are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty great. You know why? You know why? Yeah. Because today we're recording in live for the first time. Like when I say in live, I mean in real life, not by Zoom, you know, so that is really, really uh, rewarding. Rewarding. You know? And I'm super happy <laughs> that you're here with me. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, people cannot see because we're not doing a video podcast, podcast video. Yeah, that was not the right <laughs> thing. And uh, that's why I'm happy. And uh, we're Friday. Which means tomorrow it is the weekend. So yeah, I'm really happy to be here today. And thank you for coming with me. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> because uh, we are in Alex's house. Yeah. Um, so, how are you, by the way? Uh, <laughs> Leslie asked me and I'm like, okay. I'm not going to ask you, but yeah, how are you, Leslie? I'm, Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, it's mid... Uh, yeah, almost mid July. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, where is the weather? Where is the summer? Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. It's like twenty Not here. Twenty degree. We we're, we're still looking for a uh, sun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So today's episode is uh, about love languages. And not gonna lie, I listened a podcast about it. Um, which is the long distance podcast that we shared in our last show time. I can't remember which one, but um, so they talk about love languages. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> uh, so we decided with Alex to do the test about it because there are five love languages. Do you want to yeah, yeah. present so the So the ones? first one is quality time. Yeah. So, yeah, quality time. Then you have act of service. Then you have words of affirmation. Affirmation. The fourth one is receiving gift. And the last one is physical touch. So, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading right now. Okay. But um, what so, is, yeah, sorry. So yeah, it's basically the five love languages. Uh, of course, there is so many different ways to show your love. Um, so it's not just about the five, these five ones. Yeah. But this is kind of, how, how can you say it? It is like a summary yeah, exactly. of all the ways to show <laughs> love. Yeah. <laughs> so what is yours, Leslie? Mine is quality time, uh, about 37 person. Yeah, because uh, if you don't know, guys, dudes, we did a test. Did you say that? Yeah, I did. And we we probably, you know, a shared link in yeah. the description. Okay. Um, so you can do it too. Um, so uh, quality time for me, 37 person and the 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 last uh love language is for me is physical touch oops sorry uh three persons persons yeah. persons yeah Person. three persons yeah only yeah physical Whoa. touch don't touch me so guys you will know that if you meet leslie don't touch her <laughs> no it's it's not that I, um I'm, I'm just not comfortable with it you know like, but I also think um, love languages are something you that, that change over time. Yeah. Because it, when you're not raised, for example, to show your affection or your parents were not hugging you, it tends like to, you know. Yeah. And I think also it depends on the person, you know, because imagine, you, sorry, imagine you have two friends. You won't uh, be this, you won't show uh, your love in the same way. Is that even English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Um, so, yeah, I think it depends too, because sometimes you're more like you kind of like physical touch with some people and sometimes yeah. you hate it. 
uh so yeah it depends what about you mine is actually like yours um, oh my god <laughs> what a surprise <laughs> so i have 33 percent of quality quality time okay and 13 percent of physical touch which is the last and um yeah so for me at first i thought i was really physical with people you know yeah because i like to hug i like to you know i don't know touch people but then i realized that no not really and spending time with my friend is more meaningful or just someone i like you know yeah. is more meaningful to me than a hug yeah and for example leslie and i didn't get to see each other each other that much that year mm -hmm. but every time each time we saw each other was like wow wow you know it was amazing <laughs> uh, Oh, I felt oh. my heart, you know, pounding oh so God. hard. I like her so much. And uh, I think it is the same with my friend. And sorry for that noise. Okay. So, yeah. But I also think um, I like to spend time with my friend because some of my friends don't even, yeah, they don't even live in the country. Yeah. So just spending one hour with them is making me happy. So, yeah, I think that is why my, uh, yeah. Cool. My love language <laughs> is quality time. And I just want to say, like, physical touch, three person, that's, like, nothing. But sometimes I wish I could be, like, the people who, like, yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, sometimes people are so comfortable with doing hugs or yeah. whatever, actually. And I'm like... Even if I know the person for, I don't know, 10 years, sometimes I'm, I'm not comfortable. I feel you. And so I wish I could be, but I'm not. But I think you need to maybe find the right person. Even if you know that person for like 10 years yeah. or more, if you're not used to get physical with her or him or whatever she... Anyway, if you're not comfortable with, the, with them, it's not going to change like in one second. Yeah. And maybe if you meet someone at the right time, at the right place, you will get physical because there is a connection with you and that someone. And uh, yeah, that would be my explanation. That's deep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I think it depends of the love language of the, of the other person. Like, also, yeah. Like... Um, both of us is is quality time so of course when we're together when we are together i got the music right, no. exactly uh when we're again singing. sorry um we're singing because we cannot put the song because yeah. of spotify <laughs> so anchor please <laughs> you have european podcasters think of us thank you so when we are together uh quality time is even more meaningful for yeah. us because it's the first love language is for both of us and so when we touch either each other it's not that good it's weird actually yeah but i think you know it depends physical touch can mean so many things you know it's like touch your hand but it can and be a hug that could be so many things <laughs> <laughs> were you wrapping something that could be yeah so yeah many yeah things. eminem vibes and uh yeah and i have a friend actually her love language is physical touch and when i'm with her it doesn't bother me you know yeah. but then i have another friend it is not for example you it is yeah. not physical touch it's going to be weird yeah but it, you also need to adapt to the person yeah. sometimes but again it is part of your personality mm. i don't know if we talk about this if i think it was in the relationship and friendship podcast how friendship is something that goes in the both ways yeah so even if you don't like something um on the other person you need to adjust adapt yeah. and uh, work around this and so, talk about it yeah also. also if you don't like someone touching you even if their love language is physical touch you need to to speak first yeah. of all because that is not right yeah. you know and uh yeah if you don't like something say it yeah yeah and my question for you leslie yeah for example if you 
in your I don't know I'm going to say in your in your future partner but <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, okay I don't think that is English um, but what would you like him that is not English wait what ling love language would you like him to have oh my god you get it okay can I, you stop mocking me no please? but because I I, I couldn't do this okay okay <laughs> i was trying hard okay uh love languages um receiving gifts it's it's not for me physical not touch receiving gifts uh it's it's um okay the last two ones yeah because uh i don't know why um but maybe like i think it's quality time because Again. yeah because you know because i think also uh i'm more introvert than extrovert sometimes just be there is okay it's okay you know don't you don't have to speak quality time you know it's i don't know how to say that to say that but uh just be with the person you know if if when you text him or her uh she's like oh he's like oh no i can't tonight or it's it's you know i don't know how to say that but explain to the listeners we have time (laughs) quality time like um so yeah i would prefer um quality time because i like when someone devotes time for me yeah because i think time is the most precious thing in life like you money is great but you will have it for in another day uh but time you know when it's over it's over so i don't know for me time is the best thing to devote to someone and i also think it goes with the memories you're going to make because a gift is temporary even if (laughs) even if this is a i don't know a watch for example yeah it's gonna break you know sooner or later exactly and the memories are not going to erase that quickly exactly so, except if you have an accident but that's not that's cool. what i was going to say but <laughs> that's other things you know and yeah it goes with the memories and uh i think memories are the precious things yeah the most precious thing we can have in life yeah what wow. about you what about me what about so you? i'm a little bit complicated you know because um, my you i want the five you. ones yeah <laughs> <laughs> so my love language is quality time that's okay so of course I, i'd like to i'd like my partner my, my partner yeah, yeah to have yeah, this yeah. but i also like receiving gift <laughs> okay okay so i don't know but i also I like, think yeah you know when because you like receiving gift is just because when you see the gift you think about this person and so you think about yeah the memories again, the memories memories come back memories come back you um so yeah i wish i can edit and put this song <laughs> but we're gonna get blocked so cannot do that and uh, yeah and also i i like words of affirmation because i realize that yeah. i tend to always ask whether that be friends or family hey what do you think of this when i need to make a decision like what do you think of that is it great does it look great on me mm. or do you think this color would suit me and i all yeah i like when people <laughs> that's so selfish <laughs> that is so selfish but i am not i promise okay uh, i am no okay am i sorry that was bad. <laughs> uh, i like when yeah i like receiving compliments yeah but okay that's okay what is your second love language alex it is oh wait let me see let me see let me see this is going to work i think it's act of services yeah really okay so yeah. we are the same um <laughs> i think we should marry alex I think uh, so. <laughs> yeah uh i just want to talk about this act of services service so service uh because Bear with us our english is not perfect yeah <laughs> um because i okay I, I think i'm the kind of person who 
prefer, I think everyone, but who prefer doing than just talking. Like I prefer oh, actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that is why word words of affirmation. Okay, great. Receiving gifts, okay, great. Physical touch, okay, great. great. But um, acts of her service yeah. in quality time, quality time, like you devote something to this yeah. person. Making food for someone is exactly. a way to show that they love you yeah. or they care about you. And I'm the kind of person also who really, um, oh gosh, who really so see, I'm yeah. going to say see, but it's not really the word, who see every detail and think about it yeah even if the person does not realize it yeah so for example it's it's stupid but someone who say oh you don't have enough money uh i, I don't know two euros you don't have it I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, two euros, yeah. yeah and that's okay you know and this thing i'm not taking for them granted. for granted yeah. yeah uh going to tell a little story yeah going to tell a little story <laughs> Back in December, uh, when everything was uh, shut shut down in France and we couldn't see each other because we were living super far anyway, uh, I was like, I think I already told tell them the story when you, you came to surprise me with the... I don't know. Oh, yeah, probably. I anyway, I'm going to tell it again. So <laughs> I was like doing some work, I think. And then she called me, Leslie called me and she's like, yeah, get out of your house. And I'm like, why? She's like, just get out. <laughs> and then I go into the front door and she's here and she, first she gave me a box, but then in the box, you, you had many, many things. And the thing that I really liked is when you, you said, well, okay, so this is the last one. So just text me and I will send you the link to the last gift. And the last gift was a playlist and <laughs> wow that was so so kind of you yeah i think kind is not the word yeah that but i, I get to... it and and it, yeah uh also uh, you need to precise that it was just only you know songs that we share at the yeah. specific moment in our life for example when we go when we went to oh gosh when we went to a concert or something like that yeah. so again memories come back memories come back you uh, <laughs> marine five uh, so yeah i think it's uh, it was a great thing i remember uh that um you have no idea and i talk about it with a friend and he was like oh gosh that's that's a great idea and, yeah. and so i was so happy to do it like and sharing... even more because you have no idea. Yeah, sharing a playlist, especially music, to me means like music means so much to me. And uh, if you don't have, if you haven't, if you don't have <laughs> ideas for a gift to, to your, I don't know, your significant others, other or friends, make them a playlist. Honestly, yeah. because that is the best thing you can do. They can take the music everywhere they go, anywhere they go. And uh, yeah, even if you are like a part, especially when you're a part, actually, it means a lot. So also, as I was saying, like little details, not only uh, regarding behavior, but also when someone talk about something you only um, mention once, you know, and you're like, oh, you can't remember. And that's, I don't know, I just like it because it means that people really listen to you and I don't know, just like it. Words of affirmation, that's that's also a great thing, words of affirmation, because for example, last night I was playing, oh gosh, how can you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, here we go. Pool, anyway, we were playing and we were... There, there were uh, three teams, yeah. and so we were two, um, and my partner, partner, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say that. Um, even when I missed, uh, well, I'm not, I was not that great. He was like, yeah, okay, that's okay, and just this, you know, hi, hi, you hop, is that hype, you hop, hype, you hop. Anyway, and that was, I was like, oh, it's sweet, you know, I, I, 
I was doing shit and he was like, yeah, great, continue. Yeah, words of affirmation are really... I don't... The thing is, when I, if I think, I don't get a lot of words of affirmation. Okay, they are even more precious. That's why I think I like them so much is because since... Because I think words of affirmation, you don't need to praise someone or hype someone every time. But when you do, this person is going to remember it for like a long time. And especially, I don't know if your friend is facing someone, uh, something, sorry, yeah. someone. <laughs> or some, someone, we don't something know. Something difficult in her, his yeah. life is going so much meaningful for her. I think we're going to end this podcast. Yeah, we're not talking for talking, so. That, yeah, that's the thing. So. I'm going to do the outro yeah. in real life. Okay. Okay. Taking the mic now. Thank you for listening. Actually, if you listened, that's so, so, so great of you because, Quality yeah. Time again. Yeah, you're spending <laughs> your time on us. So, yeah, thank you. And uh, we have a, I was about to say we have a podcast. No, we have an IG at What Subject Pod. It's going to be in the bio of the episode as well as the link for testing your love language and uh, please tell us on our post the post we're going to make for this episode what is your love language and um, your opinions regarding it again thank you for listening and uh, see you very soon in another episode bye guys bye